I don't read the social media anymore. <laughs> they abuse a lot of me. Welcome to Top 10 Goons. In today's video, I shall be revealing to you the top 10 business and investment owned by Bola Amel Tinubu. Tinubu business interests cut across media, hospitality, oil and gas, and even finance. Before we proceed with this interesting video, make sure to hit the subscription button and like this video. Oriental Hotel is a five-star hotel located in Victoria Island, Lagos. The hotel was built when Bola Ahmed Tinubu was the governor of Lagos State. The 12th floor luxury hotel boasts of over 300 exotic rooms, suites, and apartments. Various amenities such as a swimming pool, spa, fitness center, and restaurants are all present in the hotel. Tinubu is not responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the business. He only owns a lion's share in the company that owns the hotel. A single room is set to cost 200,000 naira per night in the hotel, while suite and apartment are in the range of millions in the hotel. Falamon Shopping Center is located in Ikoyi, which is an upscale Lagos area with high income earners as residents. Bola Amen Tinubu himself and many other Nigeria billionaires like Adeluga, Dangote, and their likes are all residents of Ikoyi. The shopping complex has a cinema, supermarket, high class restaurant, and what have you. If you think a busy politician like Jacoban would have the time to parlor the daily affair of the complex, then you must be a comedian. As a smart politician, Bola Ahmed Tinubu owns the shopping complex using Tony Elumelu coupling. So whenever you see Tony and Jagaban together, just know what binds them is deeper than what you can ever think or imagine. Last one standing. <laughs> How can you Is that you, Last one Company is a steady cash cow for Tinubu. The company was established in the year 2005 and is responsible for the collection of Lekki Equa Expressway toll fee, which amounts to millions of naira daily. Now you understand the reason for the infamous October 2020. The toll gate generated millions of naira daily to the Lagos state government and CEO of Lagos himself. Let's be sincere for once. Would you be happy if anyone tries to destroy your business that chances millions on a daily basis? The Ikeja Shopping Mall is located in the state capital itself. It pride as one of the largest malls in the country. If you're a movie lover or a foodie, Ikeja Shopping Mall is the place to be, as it features a cinema and food court all for your pleasure. The shopping mall is a beautiful sight to behold, especially at night. Before now, many people don't know it belongs to the Nigeria's smartest politician, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I can't forget in a hurry how I used to visit a newspaper vendor close to me every day back then just to read the nation's newspaper. The nation newspaper is known for its pro-government publication and political event coverage in Nigeria. I expect nothing different from a newspaper owned by a political strategist like Tinubu. The newspaper also won the Nigeria Media Merit Award for Best Newspaper in Nigeria some years back. I hope the award was not rigged as well. Tinubu activeness in the media space has really contributed to the growth of his political career. Tinubu also owns TV Continental and Radio Continental. TV Continental is known for airing popular shows like Your View, Journalist Hangout and Entertainment Splash. Coverage of news, entertainment, and sport is what they are mainly known for. The station was destroyed by hoodlum during the NSAS protest. Guess what? It was quickly rebuilt and brought back to life by the billionaire politician. We all know Apple to be one of the most valuable companies in the world with a market capitalization of over $2 trillion. But do you know Bola Ahmed Tinubu owns a huge share in Apple? This secret was spilled by one of his trusted aides some months back. 
You don't expect a billionaire like Tinubu with net worth of billions of dollars to invest cheeky change in app. This further proof Jagaban is not just a politician but an investor and a businessman as well. Manchester United Football Club is among the most successful and popular clubs in the world, with huge fan base in different continents of the world. We are not here to talk about the club wins and losses, but rather to disclose to you that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a major shareholder in the club. Supporting the club as in Nigeria is equivalent to supporting a club partly owned by our own countryman. I don't know if I'm making sense at all with it. Why the amount he invested in the club is not verifiable, we are very sure it will be in the tunes of millions of dollars. Now you understand why Fashola, during his era as a governor of Lagos State, invited Rayo Ferdinand, a player of the club, to Lagos. Alpha Beta is a tax consulting firm allegedly owned by Bola and Men Tinubu. The company offers tax related services to Lagos State government for a 10% fee. What this means is this if Lagos State makes 100 billion naira in a month as a state, 10% of that money, which is 10 billion naira, is going to Alpha Beta account. Now you know why the owner of Alpha Beta owns private jet and investment worth billions of dollars in every part of the world. Mind you, Alpha Beta renders same service to other states like Abia, Imo, Bayesa, Akwaembo, Sokoto, Kano, Plitu, and even Nasarawa State. Though we are not sure if their fee is a 10% of the total tax collected in those states. Owando is one of Nigeria's largest oil firms. The company is very active in oil exploration, production, and marketing. The company is currently headed by Adewale Tinubu, a cousin to Jagaban. With about 400 people in its payroll, the company's net income rose into billions of naira annually. There is hardly any sector in Nigeria economy where Tinubu does not have investment presence. He is not only the Jagaban of Lagos but now the Jagaban of Nigeria as a whole. Is there any Tinubu business I failed to mention? Let us know in the comment section below. If you want to know about the top 10 richest politicians in Nigeria, click that video that appears on the screen.